haven't attempted getting number one with a new weapon in over two months. But today, we're bringing it back with the Groza. Oh my god! First, however, we have to get that battle pass and give it a rating. Okay, let's get the battle pass! Literally, probably gonna be nothing here I want. Ooh, this is not a bad skin. Okay, now that I see the whole thing, it's not good either. I don't like this one. No, just no thank you. None of this is doing it for me. A jolly laugh emote. <laughs> okay. No, don't like that. Damn, I'm just not really a fan of this battle pass, I'll be honest. None of the skins are hitting the spot for me at all. Ride 25. No, not even the backpack. Ride takes kind of bad too. Don't even get me started about that Koshka. Hey, hey, hey. I believe this is the Groza. Yes, it is. All right. Yeah, I mean, 6.57 sounds good to me. The best skin in it was the Santa one. I thought it was an SMG, but it's actually an assault rifle. Let's build a loadout and try it out. Three after this, however, I went into shipment to get my points up and also experienced this gun for the first time. What the hell? Why does it look like this? Hmm. Note to self, the iron sight is horrible because of how big and chunky it is. Ooh. Does it have potential to be an assault rifle SMG hybrid? That's going to be the question that we need to find out on ranked. Because here... It feels like it does. After getting a ton of points and going through the ranks with the Groza, I come to the realization that because I didn't play COD Mobile a lot last season, I wasn't even legendary. I'm so bad at this game now. Because I haven't played. My accuracy is terrible. In turn, meaning that I had to play ranked earlier than usual in order to rank up my weapon, putting me at a massive disadvantage to being the first person to get number one in the leaderboards with this brand new assault rifle. Not only that, but since I hadn't played much, I was just washed. What? I, of course, I could kill the newbies. But you can see by how I was moving and shooting that I had a lot of training to do to get back to where I was. Oh my fucking god, Rinda. <sighs> I don't know if I got this in me, bro, to even do this. Which is partly the reason why I've been streaming watching other people play Battle Royale recently. Just so I could learn any tips and knowledge or skills that people may have come up with since I stopped grinding. I'm doing the same for multiplayer now, but when I did this, I just came back on the glass. This thing is not as good as what I thought it was. That's for sure. I don't think this is a good SMG hybrid like the FAR. Doesn't hit the same as it, but that could also be because I'm bad. Finally, after an R, we'd ranked up enough to gain points out of ranked. But I was extremely far behind everyone else trying to go for number one. Okay, this is really hard to control long range with the build that I had before. So I'm gonna have to change it after this game. After playing ranked for a while and changing my loadouts around significantly, I was becoming more familiar with this weapon. Oh my God. Whoa. I'm still using my fast build. God oh, damn, this is actually not as bad as what I thought it was. And I'll be the first to tell you, it's not as good long range as a growl. Dead. And it's not as good close range as a switchblade. What? So I was just trying to find out what the sweet spot was with the Groza. And between me and you, I was having a lot of fun doing so. Yeah, me on. Oh my god. Absolutely shredded. And as my skill progressed and the flow state was hitting. Then it glues her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I get turned on. I'm still going. Holy. I got into Hack the Yard and popped off phenomenally.
not me, it was insane. I'm still on the streak. I'm still showing him how it's done. He can't stop me. He can't even flank me. They're powerless. And I'm gonna show them no mercy. Oh my god, I'm sin. And I'm still going. Oh, mercy. I legitimately cannot be touched right now. It's fine, good. I'm dead. Yes. I believe I'm still alive. Oh! Dead. I won't get out of this. There's nothing to do. I'm crushed and prone! <laughs> to get the nuclear, nuclear now. And that clutches up the game, ladies and gents. Now it's time to seal the deal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, uh. No way we lose this, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Teammate clutch, let's go. However, as seems to be the case, the queue time started hitting. I forgot about the rank queues. <sighs> I completely forgot about how long it takes to find a game. But unlike other attempts of previous weapons, they weren't as long. Well, that was up until what I believe to be the skill-based matchmaking gods came into play by the 7th R. As we went through our first impressions, learning the game again after not playing for basically an entire season, then reaching flow state, dumping on a pile of people, and nuking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! I believe skill-based matchmaking gods decided that I had to go into top-tier lobbies once more. Brother. What? And to be honest, that was probably one of the most humbling experiences of my life. I can't compete with these players. Bro, they're so annoying. Because I was getting absolutely destroyed. I'm getting fucking royally turned on, bro. So much so that I felt humiliated. I just got fucking executed. Oh, that's the first time I've ever been executed in a game, bro. Obviously, I wasn't live streaming, so nobody was seeing how bad I was doing. <sighs> I'm so bad. And I didn't need to spotlight to you guys how terrible I was playing. God damn it. But I've always done it. So I thought to myself, I've got to continue to show you guys exactly what happens in these runs. And I was just bad. I don't even know what to say. I feel like Dr. Disrespect. Help! I couldn't keep up. I'm getting fucking toasted right now. In fact, I was feeling like Lightning McQueen in the third Cars movie where Jackson Storm goes past and even though he tries his hardest, he just can't catch up. Brother, what the f and I know, usually, as I come to the end of these challenges, we're firing on all cylinders and as the ninth R hit, I was gunning as hard as I could. Oh my god! But I wasn't dominating. I wasn't decimating, obliterating, annihilating the competition with the Groza. Oh! <laughs> and as the timer came down and I was wondering, would I be first? I was trying to wrap around in my head if it was me that was the problem or the gun that was the problem. Hey, this Groza is not the best gun. It cannot compete. And as I came over that finish line in the last race, I still didn't have the answer. But what I did have was another number one under my belt. With that being said, I guess you'll have to subscribe to see how this story unfolds. Also, check out my live streaming channel channel because I still haven't used any other guns and I'm gonna see if I can still compete the highest level.